All right, so we have a Pinotage, which is from South Africa. It's a really great wine taste. I'm gonna put the link to a place that you should go if you're a, a local viewer of this blog. It's a place called Old Wine Cellars in Old Fit Falls. Great job with the wine tasting. And more importantly, they actually have a patio out back where you can bring your own food and kind of taste the wine at your own leisure. Thank you, Francesca, thank you. And uh, it's actually sitting over the uh, Rocky River, so it's very scenic, very chill, very laid back. Anyhow, they were talking about uh, an area that I know very little about, which is South Africa. Um, easiest way to describe the wines from South Africa is imagine the, the elegance and the finesse of the old world combined with the fruit and upfront jamminess of a new world. That's what you get when you get South African wines. So this is uh, Pinotage. Interesting story about Pinot Tide, it's actually a blend of two grapes, Pinot Noir and Senso, which is a common grape from the Rhone Valley in France. This particular wine is meant to be consumed young. It's a 2009 vintage, um, nice dark color, a lot of jamminess on the nose. A lot of earthiness, which is something I absolutely love about European style wines. Very, very smooth wine. Again, nothing quite like it. Pinotage is uniquely indigenous to South Africa. Uh, wine finishes with a lot of spice, dark fruit flavors, blackberries, plums, a little bit of tobacco on there as well. It's got a decent amount of alcohol. It's 14% uh, alcohol. My daughter is uh, definitely a fan. And um, I would drink this with any of your, your pizza pasta dishes. It goes well with meats. Um, it's got decent body to it, decent finish, not overly tannic, it's, it's jammy up front. And again, given the fact that it's something you can only get from South Africa, it's definitely uh, an interesting wine. I think it retail for less than 10 bucks too, so a great value as well. I'm David Tinner, advocating good stuff for your life. Thanks for watching.